Mark, you're never alone in the Beko kitchen because <laughs> I'm here. I don't know whether that's a good or a bad I'm thing. My trusty sidekick. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, I'm ready today because it's my birthday. So And yeah, happy me? birthday. Thank and you. I put a chicken recipe on, especially for you, because I know how much you like chicken. Oh, no, I do love chicken. Uh, Really simple, we're going to make crispy yeah. sesame chicken mm. and then we've got this beautiful um, Asian sticky sauce to go yeah. with it and a little bit of chilli as my birthday gift. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. A little bit spicy for my birthday. Have the full recipe for you later in the show. Mark, you've got crispy chicken to show us. I love chicken. It's my birthday. I'm excited. Best day ever. So let's get cracking. All right, let's get, let's get cracking. Talking of cracking, oh, right. need to crack some eggs. It's my birthday. Do I have to work? Yep, I'm going to put oh, you to work. It's just right. like every other day when <laughs> it's your birthday, isn't it? <laughs> so crack the eggs into there. Give them yep. a good whisk up. Uh -huh. So we're going to do an idea of... Um, it's going to be like a pane, what we do with breadcrumbs, but okay. without breadcrumbs, if that makes any sense to you. Okay, no, it does, but we yeah. will see what you mean soon. I will show you, though. Right, whisk, whisk them up. Yep, whisk cool. them up. We've got a little bit of corn flour here. Right, I'm going to, I'm going to slice the chicken up now, so we've got some nice, nice thin slices. How about, so just little thin slicey slices? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can do what you want. You could do cubes if you wanted, you could do slices. Okay. What would you like? It's your birthday. Oh, nice. Now you ask. Oh, just I what do. you've done. Yeah. Oh. Oh, a couple of big chunks for me. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Sounds so good. Should just have the whole chicken breast for you. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we've got that. So I've got some corn flour here. Yep. We've got the eggs here. Yep. Right. In the end bowl, we've got a bit of flour. Okay. So I pop the flour in there. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some flavours in the flour. We've got a little bit of um, garlic powder. Garlic powder. Yeah. In. And a little bit of um, chilli uh, or paprika. Paprika. Yeah. That goes in. And uh, give it a good good uh, twist of salt and pepper and Thank then give you. it a good stir around righty -o. and then that's going to be a flavoured um, well flavoured coating really oh you're cool nice. so we'll pop the chicken into the corn flour first yep so this what this is what helps it make it nice and crispy get rid of your excess then into your eggs yeah <laughs> I've covered myself and in the <laughs> coating. It's all right, it's your birthday, you can get right. away with it. Get messy. Didn't we, didn't we talk about messy play last week? Okay, <laughs> so the corn flour, chicken, and then it's going in there. Yeah, yeah, cool. so in there, so, so give, it, give it a good coating and then get your excess off. Mm -hmm. So you just want a really thin coating of egg on there and that's just going to help the um, flour stick. Okay, cool. So that's what we're looking for? Yep, that's what we're looking for. Nice so work. you can uh, you can pop it back on the board. On this board here, cool. So a good idea is to just go through and do this to all your chicken first. So you can carry on doing that. Okay, and fine. then we're going to start making it crispy in the wok. So I've got a wok over here, which yep. is uh, getting really, really hot. I can so you want to, Yeah, you want to put this on before you start panning. And then we're going to get, you know, you want to be a generous amount of oil. Mm -hmm. um, so a little bit more than just frying and a lot less than deep frying. Okay, okay so, I get you. Nice. Right, and then um, what we want to do... I know, I'm a bit slow, aren't I? Sorry, Chef. <laughs> How about I just put a so few in at a time? So just make sure you've got a nice, even, thin coat in, but make sure you've actually got some flour on. Okay, cool. And then just check your oil's hot, so you can see a little bit of flour went in there and it's all bubbling, bubbling up. up already. And then we're going to put the um, chicken in. You know, it wants to be sizzling, it wants to be bubbling. You want to really have that high heat in there. And you just want to do this in batches now. So if you put loads of chicken in here, you'll lose the temperature and all that oil is just going to absorb into the chicken. By doing just a few at a time and then doing it in batches, um, you'll get it nice and crispy. Okay? okay, good. So about what you've got in there? Yeah, about so I'm just right. gonna I'm just gonna do four now. Cool. Couple of minutes on each side, goes nice and golden. We'll flip it over. Mm. Uh, same on the other side, and then we're just gonna take it out and we've got a little uh, plate here. Yep. Just with some paper on, and then we'll just uh, drain it off on there. Once we've done that, we'll make the sauce and toss it all together. Nice work. Oh, I love crispy chicken. I'm so excited. We'll get the next <laughs> steps to make the sauce to go with this chicken right after we catch up with Holly. Welcome back to the Beko Kitchen. This chicken is coming along nicely. It's my birthday. I love chicken. Mark, you're just doing me a great favour. Sure, there was here. more there. No, before. there was slightly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for so doing I'll let you off. I'll let no, you off. It's, it's your birthday. It's delicious. It's so nice. Yep, so there you go, you've got your crispy chicken, yeah. so that's pretty much cooked now. Mm -hmm. uh, the thick pieces, obviously, you just want to double check, but it's going to go back in the sauce just to um, for a minute or two. Okay. So you do want it pretty cooked. It's nice and crispy, you've got the flavour from the coating. Time to make the sauce. Okay. So just tip out the oil, whatever yes. you've got left. You'll have a little bit of flour reg residue as well, so tip that out, give the pan a good wipe, but then you can use the same pan to get it nice and warm again. And then we've got all these ingredients to make our sauce. So a little, bit of, bit, little, little bit of honey. 
You might be cooking for me twice on my birthday. I might be coming to your restaurant tonight because I'm, I'm not one of those people. Are you, are you big like that on your birthday? Do you like a big song and dance or are you quiet? Yeah, it's only once a year. I know, I'm really shy about it. I think you get shy the, the age. <laughs> you get shy the older you get, I think. Yeah. No, it's not my birthday. Okay, so a bit of honey. Right, well, so I'll get... come to your restaurant tonight for dinner. How's that? Brilliant. Sounds great. I'll look You'll after shout. you. Yeah, thanks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then some brown sugar goes in there. Yep. So just get the honey in first, brown sugar in first, and you can just stir it on that heat and it will just melt in. And then we've got some sweet chilli sauce. Nice. So that goes in there as well. So it's all measured out, so we'll get it in there. A little bit of ketchup as well. That'll give us some acidity to cut through all that sweetness. Brilliant. A little bit of sesame oil. Mm, uh, some rice vinegar goes in there, a little bit of soy. So you just want to be careful now because you've got the soy sauce in there, so that is going to make it quite salty. Okay. So we are going to uh, just reduce it slightly so it starts coating, but not too much. And then a little bit of dried chilli, so depending on how hot you want it, uh, you can right. put it in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's my birthday, you could have left that out. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, that's okay. what it says in the recipe. No, fair enough, and it's, it's your recipe, so we will do it that way. Is there uh, only one thing I've disliked in the entire two and a half years we've worked together, Mark? What, one thing? That is mushy peas. Oh. And honestly, there's this, there's this huge thread on Facebook at the moment where people just can't work out why I didn't like Mark's mm. mushy people peas. People love it. The nation loves it. I know, and now what they're doing is that they're all starting <laughs> to make their own mushy peas and going, there's nothing wrong with the mushy peas, Mike, what's wrong with you? <laughs> but I'm going to let Mark redeem himself before the end of the year. Okay. <laughs> and you're, you're going back to Europe soon, I'm off to Europe soon, so maybe I'll go and have some, yeah, I, some proper... <laughs> I want to see a picture of you eating mushy peas with fish and chips. Oh, but thank you for your feedback. We love it. We love those conversations. Right, so if you look at the sauce now, so it's bubbling, it's thickening slightly. So at this yeah. stage, we can just add all the chicken in. Okay. That's it, right? You give that a good stir around. So still keep it on the heat, but you can see it's glazing the chicken. Okay. And obviously you want to do this very last minute because the longer it stays in the sauce, then it is going to get nice and soft. I've got some pre-toasted sesame seeds. Oh, yeah. They go in there. Do I keep flipping it? Yeah, yeah keep yep. flipping it or um, stirring. or stirring it. <laughs> and then just a little bit of just <laughs> freshly chopped spring any. onion. Oh, this is Just last minute. Delicious. And that is ready to go. But yeah, it really smells nice, doesn't it? Beautiful. Chicken's still crispy. You've got that beautiful sauce, which is full of flavour. A little bit of spring onion in there. And that is job done. Happy birthday. Better than a cake, Thank eh? Thank you. That is much better <laughs> than a cake. Absolutely brilliant. Smells good. It was easy to make. Go on, test yourself. Make it yourself at home, and then we can start a thread about crispy chicken with sesame. <laughs> anyway, Maybe. Mark, how's the crispy chicken turned out? Oh, absolutely fantastic. We're just going to serve it up now. So a little bit of rice, and then just cover it in that crispy, sticky chicken. Do you need rice? Look I'll just eat that. Yeah, same. Well, no, you probably don't need rice. <laughs> just, just a big bowl of chicken. Thank you. Look at that. Oh, really appreciate Ooh. that. Hands off now. That Ooh. is mine. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful, Mark. What are you doing tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got Chinese beef and eggplant pop.